Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be hitting up the Missoula, Montana Costco to see what goodies are available. I recently decided to switch my kids from homeschooling to public school, so I am providing lunch for them to take to school now. So I'm looking for a little more lunch friendly items as well as some containers that I can put like homemade applesauce or bulk yogurt in so I don't have to buy those individual containers. So that's kind of what I'm on the look for this time. So let's get in there and let's see what's available. Before we get too far in the video though, please make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Every like, comment, share, it really helps support me and my family. Thank you so much. All right guys, let's get in here and let's see what we can find. Ah, oh, nuts. Someone oh, forgot their nuts. Welcome inside our local Costco. They had a lot of hygiene products on sale this week, toothpaste, toothbrushes. I'm mostly just here for food this week though. So the first thing that I'm going to grab are some granola bars. These are the salty sweet ones. But guys, there's so many choices. Like I never really realized how many different choices of granola bars there are. And this is at Costco. So imagine just at a regular store. So do you guys have a preference on what kind of bars you like or the ones that you get if you shop at Costco? I also noticed that there are some gummies here and I wasn't, I don't like the fruit roll-ups or the gushers. I feel like those are too much like candy, um, but they do like fruit snacks and I think that would be a fun treat for them to have that. So I went ahead and decided to get one of those. We are out of maple syrup and I don't like being out of it. So I decided to get two of these to make sure that I'm stocked up on them. They are $13 each, so kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. Heading towards the back of the store, I noticed that they had strawberry yogurt covered pretzels and that sounded really good. So I wanted to see how much it was and they happened to be on sale for $5.89. I don't know, I thought that was a good deal. I think it'd be something fun and a nice treat for my family. So I got two bags of that. And then I also noticed the chips, the regular Doritos were not on sale, but the Cool Ranch were. So I grabbed a bag of those. Headed back towards the dairy cooler, I walked by the cheeses and I am out of cooking cheese. So I'm gonna grab a two pound block of mild cheddar cheese to shred and add to different meals. And then I saw the animal cookies as I walked by, almost got them, but I thought we had enough treats for this time. Maybe next time I go there. And I'm just kind of looking around to see if they have any butter on sale. I don't ever notice butter so butter on sale, but that would be nice. Next on the list is sour cream. I love getting it from here. It saves me a lot of money on it, so I grabbed one of those. And then I noticed that the little yogurts that I didn't want to buy happened to be on sale, and I thought that was a good price, and I wasn't quite sure if I'm going to find a container. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Now I'm looking for half and half. It's still $4.89 is a good price for that size. So I'm going to grab two of those. I like to put that in my coffee as well as cook with that. And then I'm gonna be getting some milk as well. Our milk is priced differently based on the percentage of fat in it. I'm gonna grab whole milk. We just prefer whole milk and it's good to cook with as well. So that's what I'm gonna grab. It comes with two gallons in there. And then as I was walking past the crackers, I noticed that they had a lot of different school ones there. The school says they do have snacks for the kids and goldfish is usually on there. So I decided to skip the goldfish and go for Cheez-Its. It was only $10 for this box that comes with two bags in it. I think that's a good deal. So I decided to grab one of those. And now I'm just kind of looking for some quick and easy dinner options as well. Last time I've noticed this big bag of tater tots and I was eyeballing it so I decided to go ahead and get it because it doesn't really take long to cook tater tots in the air fryer. It takes longer if you try and do it traditionally in the oven. And then I was kind of debating between the chicken nuggets and the corn dogs and I usually always get chicken nuggets and the corn dogs end up being about 50 cents each maybe a little more. No I think 50 cents each actually for a jumbo corn dog I think that's a great price so we do corn dogs and some tater tots so I decided to skip the dino nuggets this time but a little bit down the ways they had some chicken strips that were on sale 1039 for a four pound bag I believe and I think that's a pretty good deal and the kids really like chicken strips it's nice to cook them and then add them into wraps or you can put them on top of salad so they're always nice to have so I got two of those to have one as a backup I kind of glanced down to see if there's anything on sale that we need, but I really don't want to spend too much money, so I don't tempt myself by going down that aisle. I do notice this mint chocolate chip ice cream, though. Has anybody ever tried that before? 
I am going to get a case of Diet Dr. Pepper. This is one of the things that husband and I drink, so it makes us feel better. And then we are grabbing some bananas. I got two bundles because they seem to go quickly, and these ones are green, so I think they'll last for a while. And then they have lots of different apple choices, but I noticed here they have organic galas for $4.49 for that um, big old bag of them. I think that was a four pound bag. So I grabbed one of those. And then on the way out, I found some containers. They had these three, a three pack and it had different cup sizes that lock all together. So I grabbed that to give for the kids lunches. So let's go check out. I have everything loaded up. So we're gonna get home and then we will get some of these snacks prepared to get ready for the lunches. So let's get home and let's get everything put away. Hey everybody, we made it back home. I have all of my snack goods spread out here. Anything that required to be in the fridge or freezer, like the corn dogs, the chicken strips, tater tots, sour cream, heavy cream. No, half and half. What else did I get? Stuff like that. And then the yogurts are gonna go in our beverage cooler, actually, because I'm gonna turn that into a cold snack cooler. That way we have an area designated for cold snacks that's not taken up my fridge. So that's where these yogurts are going to go. And then we're going to bag up some of these different things. I did get this one. They had the Mickey Mouse or the Bluey. I thought the kids would like the Bluey better. Bluey is a good wholesome show if you guys haven't shown your kids it yet. But there's Bingo. Blah, blah. Got it. <laughs> um, yeah, and so this just holds different things in here, different amounts. I like that it each has its own lid, but they snap together. So if they want to carry it separate for their lunch, they can have this separate. So that's kind of cool because I've been looking to put in homemade applesauce or get a big thing of yogurt and separate it. So this will come in handy. We might also, um, I believe we qualify for the free lunch as well. So we might do that for some of the days. So we, but I'm not gonna force them to eat lunch there all the time if they don't want to, so that will give this some options. Well, let's go over to my snack station and we'll put some of the things there, like these apples, bananas, and the things that are pre-packaged, and we'll get those all put away and out of the way so that we can get into the packaging. All right, this is the cart I was talking about. So this is where I like to keep the fruit. The kids can grab an apple. Gideon is down three of his front teeth right now though, so I have been slicing them for him. So he doesn't have to try and on an apple with less teeth. And then the bananas. These are a little green, but that's okay. So we'll ripen up. I am going to keep them together for now, though. So the kids can break them apart. Do one on top. Then we have granola bars and fruit snacks, which are going down here. So this comes with a little drawer here. And in here I have mandarin oranges, applesauce, and little diced pears. We get a lot of free lunches in the summer and sometimes they get extra if not enough kids show up. So when that happens, I save a lot of these from over the summer to use during the school year. And then I have some raisins. I have a little bit of the strawberry yogurts in here. Um, here's a little pack of those. So that's all, put some of the fruit gummies in here. this technically is a serving of fruit made with real fruit but. so this will just be one of their choices they can pick one thing from this one you know if that makes sense there you go. and then this has a little extra bin here that i can store leftover snacks that's gonna work out great oh this box is tough okay need to wait till these go on sale and stock up. I would love to learn to do like a copycat recipe of these though. So let's put, this has got some random snacks I get from the food bank on Fridays. They get Empower impacts that get sent home with. So we'll just put these down here we can choose from. Extra in there. All right, here's the beverage cooler I was talking about. I keep some of my Half and half in there. We have a couple of those milks we get from the Empower Packs up here. And then here's the, the uh-oh, open that one. I guess I gotta eat that one. What a shame. All right, so let's get this down here. This can be the snack one. And then I have a 
couple of cheese sticks left I got from my last Costco haul. So we'll put some of these in here as well. Not every kid likes cheese sticks either, so uh, husband likes them though, so we'll throw one or two in his lunch every once in a while. All right, now let's get some of the sodas up here. Soda is one of the things I get for myself, let myself splurge on. It's tough being an adult and a mom, you're allowed to splurge on yourself. You splurge differently than I do, that's great. All right, so there is our drink and cold snack cooler stopped. All right, so now we are going to work on portioning up our smaller bags here. So I have some snacks and then some sandwich bags here, and we're just gonna work on portioning these up. Oh, strawberry brat sauce. This is not something I would normally get. I just look up. Oh yeah. I'm just put a couple in there. All right, we got two, four, six, eight, and 12 packs of pretzels here. Pretty good. And then this one I'm not gonna open ah, just yet. We'll put this in our extra bin to save it for later. are the Doritos just because these are kind of dangerous and then the Cheez-Its I think I'll just keep these to put in their little cups if they want something in that oh forgot one what a shame I'm just doing about a handful they don't need too much their lunch boxes are not that big Doritos were actually Gideon's choice one of his friends from school likes to get or has those Dorito packs you know like the packets of chips the school size lunchbox lunchbox size chips but I just find it so much cheaper to buy the big bag especially when it's on sale and then separate it so I'm gonna keep this up and then I'll bring it back all right guys I'm all done and I was able to get 15 bags of this plus I still have some left over for snacking later tonight. I think that's a great deal, considering that bag was only $5 on sale. That's one of the perks about bulk shopping, is that if you have a big family to feed, it really does pay off to buy in bulk. along and seeing what I got at my local Costco and how I use it to take care of my family. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bird's.